Hey guys, inside this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can fix expressions inside of Photoshop super quickly. Whether you've got a wedding photo with a large group and you just have one person who's blinking, or you have another photo where somebody is wearing more of a frown than a smile, it's super easy to fix these things inside of Photoshop, and I'm gonna show you two different ways, all right? So let's dive in together. We've got a beautiful family here, and this is a nice family portrait, except for a couple of little things. One of them being my exposure, which we're not going to worry about inside of this photo editing experiment, but two being our expressions here. Our bride here was just in mid blink with her left eye and so we're gonna try and fix that. So there's two ways to do this that's super simple. The first is going to be the old fashioned way, all right? I'm gonna grab my lasso tool. I hit L on my keyboard to select that or you can grab it right up here. Then you're going to select the good eye actually, good eye mate, and so in this case, she has another eye I can select. If that's not the case, if someone's mid blink, what you have to do is just find another photo, preferably from the same kind of shot, if you had a couple family photos or elsewhere in the day, if you have to, and you're going to find that photo and copy that eye. So I would just grab that photo, put it above my background layer and copy that eye, all right? So you've got that eye selected. We're going to hit Command C on my Mac and then Command V, and that's going to add a layer. If you're on a PC, that's gonna be com Control C and Control P for copy and paste. So now I've got this extra eye that I can move around. I hit V on my keyboard or select my move tool. That'll let me move it. So I'm gonna move it right underneath the first eye. Then I'm going to hit Command T on my keyboard. That's going to transform. And by holding Shift on my keyboard, I can grab the outside of this rectangle and just drag it over there. And you can see that I can drag it wherever I want. And I have to be a little bit careful so that I have it kind of the same size as the eye on the left. So I've just duplicated her eye. And now if I take my opacity down a little bit, I can place it exactly where it should be on this image. So let's move over a little bit, drag it right around there. And then the angle is not quite right. So I'm just gonna grab it in the corner here. And once I'm done, I can obviously move my opacity right back up and then hit enter. So let's grab it, kind of line it up. There looks about right to me. So that's pretty close. Here's before and here's after. So obviously it's not quite blended yet. So what we have to do is go and find our eraser tool with the E key. And we're just going to make sure that the eraser settings are hardness all the way down. So I've got it 5% anywhere between zero and 10% is probably fine. And then adjust your size to whatever makes sense for that photo. And then we're just going to erase around the outside of the eye so that we blend it in and it looks like it should be there. So I need to move it over a little bit. I'm just using my arrow tools on my keyboard just to do that, or you can click and drag it, something like that. And it's obviously the angle isn't quite right. It's not quite big enough either. So I can always hit command T again, and then I can make it a little bit bigger if I need to, which I think I do something around there. And then we'll adjust the angle very slightly. Okay, so you can play with that right until it feels correct. So here's before and here's after. So we fixed that eye. The other way to do it would actually be to go into Adobe's AI tools. So we're gonna grab our background layer, go up here into filter and look for neural filters. Now this is a hit or miss thing for me. That's why I showed you the old fashioned way first. What you're gonna do is grab your smart portrait settings and make sure that's turned on or downloaded. So if you've never downloaded it before, it's just gonna hit download. And after that, you can see that Photoshop has selected all of the people inside this image. We can select which one we want to work on. In this case, it's gonna be mom over here. I'm gonna go over to expressions and you can see that we can change some different things. We can change the direction of the eyes. That's really cool and simple. So if we go like that, you're gonna see that Lightroom is going, Lightroom, Photoshop's gonna think for a second and it's gonna process in the cloud. This is gonna take a little bit of time and so you're gonna to wanna to just, I don't know, grab some popcorn, grab a snack, I don't know. You'll get really mixed results. By the time you watch this video, Photoshop might've done a much better job, but I'm just finding that it's not super consistent and it really depends. So we can switch the eye direction. And of course, because I have this other layer on top, you're not gonna see <laughs> the right eye. So that just looks really goofy. You could also change the expression. So we can add a little bit more surprise to her expression, or we can add a little bit of anger or take a little bit of anger away. So I think that looks pretty good. Something like that. And you can see it's doing some weird things with the teeth and it's not like entirely natural. So I think if anything, this is one of those like last ditch things or just very subtle. So I'm gonna go like that. And then what we can do is actually output to a new layer. So if I go out, okay, you're gonna see this layer here has been saved. And now if I go before and after, ignoring this eye for a second, you can see that it's just made some slight adjustments to her face. In this case, it doesn't really work, doesn't really look good. So I'm gonna stick with the old fashioned way, but we can try it. I'm just gonna fix this right now because it's looking a little weird.
what we can try to do is go to our beautiful daughters over here and fix their expressions because they're having a good time, but their faces have forgot. So what we're going to do is grab our background layer, do the same thing. Let's go actually to filter, neural filters. It's going to take a second to load. We'll go to smart portrait. We're going to select girl number one over here. And from there, make sure we've turned that on. Facial age, we can make her a little bit younger, but that's not really necessary. Happiness, we can take that dial and just turn it up. So we'll wait for a second here. I don't really understand why happiness is up here, but then anger is down here under expressions. It's kind of weird to me because wouldn't the opposite of anger be happiness? So I just take this slider down to make happy and the slider up to make angry. But I don't know if you understand Adobe, leave it in the comments below because I definitely don't. So she's gotten a little bit happier. Let's try all the way. Let's max out her happiness quotient. There we go. Except for now the teeth look absolutely horrendous. So that's the thing about this approach is, is like it works, but it's really like hit or miss what actually winds up happening. So if we go before and after, we'll just go add this to a new layer. And here's before and after. So it's actually not too bad. The only thing is, for some reason, it's made her teeth really yellow and just not nice looking. So that is something we'd actually have to fix. So I can go in here. And here's an interesting thing we can do. We can go select her mouth with our lasso tool. So I used L on my keyboard to select the lasso. I selected the teeth. Now, by using generative fill, we can go with white teeth. Now, again, your, your results really are going to vary. I found most of the time it just sucks. It's not as cool as people make it out to be on the internet. But, you know, by the time you watch this video, it's an option. I just want to show you all these different tools that are available if you want to change expressions. You don't necessarily have to go the old-fashioned way. But I'll show you the old-fashioned way in two seconds if this one fails. So we're just going to wait. Photoshop's going to think, depending on the speed of your computer, it's going to be either super slow or a little slow. So it's going to give you three different options to choose from, none of which are really great. This one is okay. So what we could potentially do here is we've got this layer, which is adjusting the face, and then we've got this teeth layer. And then I don't even know what that is. That's her eye. So I'm going to hit erase. We're going to have to rasterize that layer make my eraser nice and small and then we're going to try and like blend these teeth in nope that was too much blend them into the mouth a little bit better and then make them a little bit darker so if we zoom out you're going to see that it's not bad i think that mom would probably know that those aren't her daughter's teeth if she looked closely um, so i don't know if i'm actually going to send this to the client but that's an option for you to play with now the old-fashioned way that i'm going to show you now is we get rid of both of those layers we can do the same exact tool we had before, the lasso. It's kind of our favorite tool inside of Photoshop. Grab it. That was a really bad lasso. We're just going to try and grab her mouth and then kind of an inch around her mouth. Same exact thing as before. So Command-C and Command-V if you're on a Mac. That's going to copy and paste. Or on a PC, it's Control-C and Control-P. I'm going to move this layer up to the top, and I'll just call it Smile Left because it's our girl on the left. I'm going to hit Command-T on my keyboard. That's going to transform. And then if I right-click this, I can actually select Warp Transform. And I'm going to move the center down a little bit and kind of the corners of her mouth up a little bit. And kind of by playing around here, hopefully we can get a little bit of a cheeky bit of a smile to emerge. We're going to try. And so again, your mileage may vary here. You just have to keep playing with it until such a time as you're kind of getting what you're looking for. Okay, so let's call that a little bit of a smile. Here's before and here's after. So it's definitely she's looking a little bit more happy before and after. So I'm happier with that, I think, because at the end of the day, it's going to be more believable than this. But it just depends. You might get better results than I did. So we're going to go with that little smile and then we're going to blend it. So we're going to grab our eraser tool. And by just cycling before and after, you can see where I need to blend. I'm going to make my eraser bigger using the keys next to my P key on my keyboard. Those are like the bracket symbols, I think. We're just going to erase and blend that cute little smile onto her cute little face. So here's before and after. That's looking pretty good. Okay, we're going to repeat that same method over here on our daughter number two. Same thing. Grab your background layer, lasso, and we're going to select Command C, Command V, or Control C, Control P. Command T or Control T on your keyboard, and we're going to go to our warp transform. Same thing. So we're going to grab our the corners, and you're just going to play with it until you get a nice little cheeky smile. So something like that, I think, is pretty close. 
other than the fact that it's in the total wrong position. So I'm going to move her mouth back up where it should be. You can always hit Command-T again to just adjust, rotate, move that mouth. And then we're going to erase all the way outside, just like that. And it's looking a little bit big, so I'm actually going to hold Shift on my keyboard after hitting Command-T and then move her mouth back around there. Okay, so here's before and here's after. So I've just added a really subtle little smile. And then here's our smile left, subtle little smile. And here's our right eye, which I could play with a little bit more just to get the shadows, you know, blending consistently. But hopefully that kind of gives you the gist of it. That's honestly the way that I approach it. I'm sure there's a million other ways to fix eyes and do all sorts of stuff that I haven't shown you today. But for me, simple is best. I want it to be as easy and fast as possible. And so those are my techniques. I hope they were helpful for you. If they were, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments. Hit the like button just as a thank you. And if you do have questions, things that I missed, other approaches, please share those in the comments as well. Let's have a discussion. I'll make sure to respond to any questions I can, okay? I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.